YouTube, what is going on? Back with my latest video, back with another installment of Wishlist Wednesdays. So I have a really special one for you guys today. I have two things that came in the mail for today's Wishlist Wednesdays, as well as two packages in my PO box. So I'm gonna open those up as well as show you today's featured uh, segment. So let's get right into it and see what we got. Here we go. All right guys, so before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below as well so you're updated to my most recent content. And hit the bell notification so you're alerted as soon as I post a new video. So if this is your first time watching this segment for Wishless Wednesdays, it's where I purchase a pop or pops that are in my personal wish list to add to my collection. I know I buy a lot of mystery boxes, so I like to still at least focus on uh, something at least once a week that is in my wish list so I can add it back to my collection. So if you guys have noticed a little something different, I have another new wall of Funko Pops back there. There's the opposite wall of the Disney collection. I now have my anime uh, ad icon pops behind me now. Um, I do have two other walls I have to work on so I can show you guys. But I'm kind of working on this uh, whole room so I can give you guys a room tour, have different backgrounds, different things going on in this room and make it a little bit more fun for me as well as you guys as well. So. Let me know what you guys think about this. I know some pictures up here as well that don't really have to do with anime, but I still like them and still want to display them. So definitely a new thing, and I hope you guys like it. And uh, looks nice to me. I like it a lot. Um, so let's get right into the packages that came in the P.O. Box today. All right, guys, so this first, uh, it's not even a package, it's a letter, uh, came in the P.O. Box. I've been checking it every so often. You know, we still have the pandemic going on, so when I go to the grocery store to when I'm allowed outside, I check the P.O. Box on my way there because it's on the way to the grocery store. So I do check it. So if you guys have sent something and I haven't unboxed it or shown it yet, um, it's because I'm only going periodically as opposed to going pretty frequently. Um, but I got this card in today. Um, it says thanks on the, the card and says thanks for the support. And I actually got some stickers in the mail uh, from Pops, Pop Shots Company. So there's a... One sticker is like a looks like an Emerald City Comic Con uh, sticker. That's pretty cool. And also they got these tie dye ones. Uh, these are pretty cool looking. It's almost like a an ad icon sticker. I don't know if you guys can tell or not. Let me see if I can get a better light. It's like holographic. It's got all the different ad icon. Uh, they got Tony the Tiger, uh, Frankenberry, Toucan Sam, Lucky. That's a pretty cool sticker. That's a pretty cool idea. I am not that creative at all. Need to work on my creativity, but you know I. All the stickers you send out, you guys send me out, um, always look really dope. And uh, definitely have to step my game up on that as well. So appreciate you sending that over. Um, again, it's Pop Shots Company. Um, do appreciate that. Check them out as well. Appreciate you showing the support and supporting this channel. And I did get another package in the mail. This one I did know was coming in. Um, but I did open it a little bit. And I want to show you guys what came in here because it's pretty relevant to uh, the video I'm doing now. So. Uh, it came with a letter that said, Pop Savage, thank you for continuing to entertain me with your awesome videos and content. I love your channel and appreciate being able to interact with you regarding my favorite hobby of collecting Funko Pops. Inside is actually a late birthday gift, which I'm sure you already have in your collection, um, but I sent it so you can keep it out of box or customize it in some way and, because I know you collect that line of Funko Pops. Uh, keep doing what you're doing, continue to be great, and thank you. This is from NerdChick618. Um, we did a trade and actually she bought some things from my website so um, I bought something from her that I wanted to add in the collection and it looks like she added a little bit of a birthday gift in there as well and she said PS I'm waiting for your stickers so I do actually have stickers I'm gonna put them on the site if you guys are interested in them I did a giveaway for them um, on Instagram but I have some additional stickers that I will put on the site if anybody else is interested um, but let's see what Jillian sent over um, let's see all right, so this first pop, this is the one I actually bought from her. Um, I didn't get it on the Funko website. I don't remember why. I think something else came out around the same time. And um, I just kind of passed on it. Um, and I didn't think it was going to sell out, so I knew I could get it eventually um, by combining it something else in the cart to save on shipping. But she had an extra one. She sent it over. And this is Wally Warhead. So this fits right into this uh, wall I just completed right there. It actually goes on the the other wall as well. I'll show you guys once I do a room tour. But I uh, wanted to display my ad icons. Um, the four different things I collect probably the most are animation, Disney, anime, and ad icons. So that's what I have going on in the room so far. And this definitely adds on to that collection. 
So Warheads were definitely a candy I ate as a kid. Uh, they were probably one of the most sour candies of, that I've ever had. Those and lemon heads. I don't know if you guys remember lemon heads at all. Um, I didn't really like lemon heads, but Warheads had a little bit like a sugar coat on them, so it made them a little bit better. Um, and Wally Warhead was the the mascot that was on like, almost every uh, Warhead wrapper. So here's him out of the box. Uh, pretty cool looking pop, you know. This definitely uh, is a dope pop. It looks a whole lot different than a lot of other ones because you have that huge Warhead um, logo on the top. Here's a logo that most people probably are familiar with. Let me get the light over there so you guys can see it a little bit better. Um, but here's the logo right there. You guys can see the Warhead logo. That was the one that was pretty much in all of the uh, Warhead wrappers growing up and that is Wally Warhead back there. Really dope looking pop. I'm surprised that this one sat around. Uh, maybe because I don't know if Warheads were popular outside of the 90s, so maybe only the 90s kids kind of related with this one. Um, I think they still make them, but I don't think they came out before the 90s, so maybe a lot of people weren't really feeling this one, but a lot of Ad Icon collectors had to have this one in the collection, and I am no exception to that uh, rule. So definitely happy to have this one in the collection, and definitely shout out uh, to Jillian for sending this over. All right, so let's see what she sent over as far as a birthday gift that she says I already have. So I'm not sure what it is. Um, I do appreciate you sending this over. You didn't really have to do so, but I do appreciate it. Okay, so it's the PX exclusive Majin, or excuse me, PX exclusive Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. So yeah, like you said, I do have this one, um, but now, yeah, like you said, I can keep it out of the box or do some customization to it. And uh, I might do that because I think I have the regular, I have the Majin Vegeta back there. But Majin Vegeta, from what I remember, actually did have the lightning bolts on him um, when he was in that form and the regular one doesn't have that and the Majin Vegeta I have is actually autographed so I don't have one um, you know that I can just have without an autograph on it and maybe I can customize that into this so I'm not the most creative when it comes to painting but we'll see if I can turn this into something nice so um, that's one idea I had just looking at it um, initially but maybe i can do something else with it so i do appreciate sending it over it's never bad to have some dragon ball z duplicates in the collection and definitely interesting to kind of uh expand my creative juices and do something different with this one so i do appreciate you sending this over and it definitely will be put to good use so thank you so much for the birthday gift and thank you so much for sending over the wally warhead all right guys so let's get into today's feature presentation for today's wishlist wednesday's pops all right so as you guys know like i just said i've been working on these two walls this one and the one uh opposite of this for my disney animation anime and ad icon uh collection so this is one that if you've guys seen my other videos there's been spaces and um empty spaces on that wall for my disney collection this is one i have to fill in one of those gaps uh, this movie to me is one of the most underrated Disney movies of all time. It's a really good movie. A lot of people didn't really watch it initially. I think due to like Disney Plus and the DVD release, it's had a more of a following now. Um, but that movie is Zootopia and this is my favorite character from that movie and it's Flash, the sloth. So sloths, are, I like think they're really cool animals. Uh, a lot of people don't really like them. They're slow. They don't do much at all, but I think they're kind of funny. Um, this Flash was the funniest character in the movie to me. He's only in like one or two scenes. Um, they called him Flash just because he was really slow. And also, one of the scenes in the movie, he actually was driving a car and he went really, really fast. So he's a, a speed demon on the road and slow at the DMV. But this one was one I had to pick up. I do have the El Finnick back there from uh, Zootopia, but I don't have the others. Um, but this one is actually, I think, the only one that is vaulted from this movie. So I had to pick this one up before it gets any higher in value. And um, I found a really good deal on it and had to jump on it right away. This is an extremely, extremely cool pop. Um, like I said, Zootopia is, is a, it's really an adult movie. It speaks on a whole lot of different issues, um, you know, race and, you know, treating others correctly and things of that nature. So I think it's a really good movie. If you've not seen it, I strongly suggest it for you. It's not just a kid's movie. It uh, definitely has a good message, and I think it's one of the better and underrated movies that Disney has put out recently. So yeah, Flash, like I said, is one of my favorite movie or favorite characters from the movie. Uh, like I said, he works at the DMV. He uh, processes uh, new licenses or whatever, and uh, yeah, he's not really good at it. So that's the first pop I had to get was Flash. I can fill the gaps in the wall to go with my other Zootopia pop. And I do have one more 
huge grail for today's Wishlist Wednesday, so here we go. All right, guys, so this is a big one. Uh, this is one I've been looking to add for a while. Like I said, I'm trying to fix these walls and get some more things uh, to add to them. This pop actually got through a trade. I pulled out a huge trade. I'll go into more details with that in probably another video. Um, but this is part of that trade. We're still working on some of the other details. Um, but this is one I didn't have, um, but I needed to have. I'm almost done completing the whole collection for this line. So um, this pop was extremely happy to get. Um, I saw that um, this guy had in this collection. I'm not gonna air him out right now just because I know we're still working on the trade details. Um, but this pop he had and I was really, really happy to get it. And that is the Yummy Mummy Cereal Monster. So, this pop is extremely, extremely dope. Um, I think this one was going for a lot more money uh, before and now they've come down to value. This one as well as Fruit Brew. But I'm really looking to try to complete and get all the cereal pops um, into my collection. I think as far as the ad icons, ad icons are concerned, those are my favorite ones to collect. Um, I just, you know, they always remind me of my childhood. We all grew up eating all the sugar-free cereals that we weren't supposed to eat. And uh, Yummy Mummy is definitely uh, a cool one. Now, Fruit Brew is the other one I don't have. And I think the only other cereal um, mascot I'm missing at this point is Tony the Tiger. Um, I do have the 10-inch one um, over there in the, the uh, glass cases. Um, but I don't have the um, regular 4-inch one. Um, but this Yummy Mummy is really, really dope. I didn't grow up eating Yummy Mummy, to be quite honest with you guys. Yummy Mummy and Fruit Brute were not uh, cereals that I tried as a kid for the Monster cereals. Um, but I do think these pops look extremely dope and they were ones I had to have in my collection. The reason why I didn't get them initially is, like I said, they were expensive at one point. I think the dyes have come down and I'm really, really happy. I was able to pull up a big trade and get this one as part of it to add to the collection. So yeah, Yummy Mummy is definitely a grail in my uh, collection and uh, now I only need two more pops. So if you guys have Fruit Brute or Tony the Tiger in your collection, um, definitely hit me up and uh, maybe we can work on a deal to get those um, that transaction to take place. So yeah, there guys, this is the two pops after the day is Flash and the Yummy Mummy uh, from the Monster Cereals. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below what pops you've seen in this video that you like the best. I know a lot of people are probably going to gravitate towards the Yummy Mummy because it's the bigger grail, but I actually really like the uh, uh, Flash and the Wally Warhead as well. The Wally Warhead is actually better in person than I thought it was going to be. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you've not already, hit the like button down below. Let me know you guys like this video. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button as well so you're updated to more content just like this. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Until next time, see you later.